Hey everyone, uh, my name is Alex. I'm product manager on Saturn. Um, and today I want to talk to you about how Saturn accelerates retrievals from IPFS and Filecoin. Before I get started, um, it's one thing to celebrate today. Um, I was actually waiting for the countdown. We reached over 2,000 nodes on Saturn today. Um, so it's a big achievement. <laughs> Uh, a bit of a caveat here, so this number might go down because there's still a little bit of multi-noding going on and we'll be a little bit stricter on our requirements for performance and also availability um, to actually improve um, the resilience of the network. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the background on, on Saturn, why we build it, which problems we solve. Um, then introduce Saturn itself um, and talk a little bit how it fits into the context of the Project RIA, um, connecting basically dots where, um, um, uh, where we left off before. Um, and lastly, I would like to talk uh, about a service worker example, how to actually get to work and directly retrieve um, files from Saturn, and an outlook in the end. OK, let's start with the background context. Um, so what's the core problem that Saturn is trying to solve? Um, so number one, most of the traffic and retrievals from IPFS today um, is going through public centralized gateways. Um, so these don't really match the speed that uh, modern D apps and let's say large scale applications in Web3 require today. Uh, and secondly, um, there is currently no uh, cache and acceleration layer for Filecoin. So Filecoin retrievals are um, you know, not ideal, um, so there's lo lots of work being done there. Saturn should help actually accelerate retrievals from Filecoin, um, apart from the incentivization um, layer, of course. So why are we building Saturn? So from a commercial perspective, um, if we look at the uh, market at large, um, the global CDN market is expected to be twice as large as the cloud object storage market. Um, of course, only trust like the statistics that you falsified, so take this with a pinch of uh, salt. But um, yeah, so there is uh, definitely a, a commercial reason to build a CDN, and that also goes for Web3. So um, let's move on to uh, Saturn as a decentralized CDN. Um, so for anyone who has not heard yet, but I assume everyone has, um, so Saturn is a decentralized CDN that um, uh, supports uh, retrievals from Filecoin and IPFS. Um, a few stats um, apart from the 2,000 nodes that we have achieved since November uh, in 2022, um, we have now a capacity of around uh, 11 terabits per second, which is about 5% of the um, network capacity of Cloudflare, just to give you a comparison. So it's a huge growth that we had in the last um, five, six months, um, and we're currently serving about 158 million requests daily. Um, and just before that presentation here, uh, we had a chat with Diego, um, and we pulled up the stats that were presented in November um, when the network was launched. Um, and so looking at actually some of the performance numbers uh, for the time uh, to first byte, um, back then we had about 135 milliseconds on median response time, which was like 2.9 times um, the speed of the IPFS gateway. Um, and today, uh, we measured a median of 10x faster than the IPFS gateway, um, averaging at around 64 milliseconds, which is a really great achievement. Um, the same goes actually across the board for the average for P95 and also for the P5, um, where Saturn is already beating the IPFS gateway uh, at, at large. Um, we don't yet have the real traffic like fully running through Saturn, so these numbers will definitely change. Um, but I think that's a really good indication that shows that the network is becoming more performant the more nodes are actually added to the network. So we're talking about commercial viability um, of Saturn, so who is actually Saturn for and what can it do for you? Um, so first of all, we're targeting a couple of, of verticals. Not all of them are our first priority right now, um, but just to give you an indication, um, so Saturn um, could be used, for example, by storage providers uh, who want to accelerate and have like instant retrievability of a file that has been uploaded um, and improve um, the user experience for the end users. Uh, it could be used for NFT projects, um, um, like marketplaces, etc., cetera, um, to uh, retrieve like NFT assets really quickly um, and also um, improve basically uh, the, the overall performance. It could be used by blockchains to, for example, uh, sync uh, blockchain snapshots um, uh, for node providers. 
uh, to actually get up and running faster, for example. Um, could be used by video projects um, to do um, browser-side HLS streaming using Service Worker, an example that I'm going to show a, a little bit later today. Um, could be used by game studios, um, for example, to load any texture skins, like this large uh, amount of data, like gigs of data, for example, when you play uh, a, you know, one of those modern games, um, which you typically load either up front when you actually start the game or during the gameplay. So that's what Saturn could be used for, especially uh, in the client-side implementation it will enable you to use the full power of the network and also in general for the app developers. So um, talking about like Saturn, um, the first client of Saturn is um, IPFS IO as we have seen um, before. Um, so just to um, put it in perspective, um, as a summary to, um, uh, to Will's presentation before on a high level, um, currently a customer would request a SID um, from IPFS IO IPFSIO will proxy that request to Saturn. Um, Saturn using LASI will um, either serve it from the Nginx cache um, or it will cache miss if it doesn't have actually that file to IPFS or Filecoin using Bitswap or GraphSync. You have um, the Saturn orchestrator here on the bottom. There has been a previously a presentation on how the orchestrator works. Um, so the orchestrator is currently uh, still a centralized service that manages the network, um, allows um, who can join the network, um, uh, who leads the network, um, uh, is responsible for logging and also for uh, recalculating the weights of, of each node on the network. Um, and so Saturn can currently um, um, serve uh, car files or blocks back um, and the IPFS IO uh, gateway will do the verification for you. So moving over to the use case example uh, for today. Um, so there are currently different integration types how you could use the Saturn network. Um, so one is uh, the browser retrievals um, via the service worker um, where you actually use the full power of the network because you actually interact with the untrusted nodes and the verification is happening on the client side um, incrementally. Uh, secondly, it could be like server retrievals where you could potentially use something like Caboose um, as uh, server client libraries um, for use cases like uh, blockchain nodes who sync state, for example, and have to run it directly on the node. And then lastly, gateway retrievals using IPFSIO or um, the service worker implementation that Adin just presented. So um, let me dive into the browser retrievals example and let's hope that the service worker works. All right, uh, so it's pretty simple. Uh, so we have to add actually just a, a script tag um, to uh, our file and then also download the service worker itself, add it to the root of our directory and um, hope that we can actually play that. So let's give it a go. So I'll make this smaller. So I have prepared uh, an MD file here that just uh, Im embeds video.js so that you can do HLS streaming. Um, so there's nothing else configured here. There's no service worker, nothing. Um, so let's give it a go. So first we have to add uh, the tag. Let's do that here. Okay. So it's there. All right. And then let's try to um, let's try to fetch this. Uh, sit. So um, I've prepared this up front, so let's have a look at the IPFS desktop. So I have a, a bunny video here, uh, so all the different like HLS chunks are uploaded. We have the manifest files here in the bottom, it's the HD version of that. So let me add the source here. Okay. Cool. Okay. So. What else is missing? Uh, so now we need to actually uh, add the service worker to the root directory of um, that file. Let's fetch that one. Whoop. Nice. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> uh, space between? Oh, yeah, great. Perfect. Harder to see here on the stage. <laughs> Thank you so much. So yeah, we see um, we've got the service worker here. Um, it's pointing to the, direct, the correct um, domain. Okay, let's save this. Um, let's start this. 
Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so let me make this a little bit smaller. Sound is on. And it's loading directly. So we see as a cache hit, uh, it's playing directly. Let's jump somewhere else. It's working pretty well. See here's the remote address of the node that we are connected to. Um, so I also want to show you one more product that we're about to release. So that's the Saturn Explorer. Um, it has been built by an external company for us. So let's sh search for the nodes that are available in Brussels. And they go. Ba -dum -ba -dum. So we have two nodes, and one of these nodes is the one that we're connected to. Um, perfect. Cool. And so, um, as an outlook for, for what's coming next, um, so a lot of moving pieces at the moment. Um, so first of all, we uh, actually have, well, we, we have achieved the sub-second um, time to force byte for um, uh, P95 um, already last month, and currently actually working on stabilizing that, especially when, when rear traffic will come up um, to keep that performance. Um, so at the end of this month, we want to launch a, um, a, a better test program for Saturn customers, because um, we're really commercially driven, um, to also start onboarding like the first customers. Um, next month, we will release uh, the uh, decentralized payouts with the smart contracts on FVM, where currently uh, there's a beta running with the Cassini test group. And um, by hopefully end of this quarter, we've got 100% of all the traffic flowing um, from RIA through Saturn, and we achieve a way better performance, correctness, and latency for that. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>